Hi guys, welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Um, hi, I'm Ijima. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, please, just before we start, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like, and do not forget to share. Subscribe, like, share. Subscribe, like, share. Subscribe, like, share, guys. Don't forget. Okay, so we're going to be hitting it on the nail right now, and this is one of the most important questions I always ask photographers when something goes south, right? Why do you not have an insurance? Why? 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 Right? So I've had I've had the opportunity to ask a lot of photographers, and just to be fair, growing up, insurance was one of those scary things that our parents do not do or did not see the need to do. But we're evolving, we're growing. We can't take these things that our parents thought was not good, especially when we're evolving, right? So let me tell you a quick story. Um, when I started photography. I think I had an issue with my camera one time. So it was at the repairer's shop and I borrowed a friend's camera. He didn't charge me for anything. But when I got to the place to shoot, guess what? <laughs> a photographer's what nightmare. The camera went off and it did not on again. But the fact that first of all, just starters, I had to lose that job. Like there was no amount of excuse I was going to see <laughs> in that job. And I was not able to take pictures, right? And second of all, I had to repair the guy's camera. So I was at lost two ends. But now think of it. What about if the guy had an insurance policy or something? It would have been better for both me and for both him because he just feels like, oh, he's not going to lend Ijama a camera again. But nevertheless, that's just one story out of many. I was on a group chat recently and I saw someone cry out and say all his cameras has been stolen, all his gadgets, every single thing. And he was pleading. But I just kept on asking, why? Why do you not have an insurance as a photographer, as a cinematographer? Why do you not have an insurance? So I'm going to be talking about two reasons why you should have your equipment insured too. Okay, let's get to it. One major, major reason. Guys, there's peace of mind. Like, there is literally peace of mind. So when I first, I've done my insurance for one year and... I can't honestly explain how peaceful that thing brought me. So I also run a rental business and people rent equipment from us. And we've had scenarios whereby people would rent their equipment and we would not hear for, for, um, from them for days. But there's just this assurance that, oh, okay, I actually insured it and nothing can really happen. Even if anything happens, the insurance is there. Like I already made money, I already made payment for it. So as a photographer, you have to think business-wise, right? If an insurance company is telling me to pay 3% out of my costs so that if this equipment is misplaced or is stolen or something, they would pay back as high as 70%. Please, I think you should go for it, like completely go for it. So first reason, like I said, for you to get your equipment insured as a photographer, a cinematographer, as a creative person, is because you would have peace of mind, right? Get your insurance. Okay, so reason number two, reason number two, inflation. Guys, we are in an economy where things move drastically. And to be honest, think about it. The last time, as of this video, the last time I checked how much 8600 was, the last time I checked it was 300 key. I can assure you that in two weeks time or in a month's time, that 8600 is going as high as 400 key or something. And imagine if you misplaced or your equipment was stolen for 300 k so apart from the fact that you have to raise a 300 k you have to still raise a 100 k just to meet up to that standard so but if imagine if an insurance company already took care of the 300 k and just raising a 100 k like guys this is this is so it's just business smart and i want us as creatives to be very very smart about our business equipment costs a lot a lot a lot of photographers a lot of cinematographers they invest a lot of money I am, I can say at least 70% of our income, most photographers invest this money in our equipment. And if we're investing this high in our equipment, it's just best to always ensure these things, right? Um, so um, in my link, in the link below, in the comments, in the caption below, I'm going to give um, 
details of the insurance company I currently use in Lagos, Nigeria right now. Um, I'll give you a few de details about it, please. I'm making this video just for you, please, please. I beg you, please, insure your equipment. It is, having equipment is almost like the heart of the business. You almost can't, you almost can't do anything without your equipment. So please, it is profitable. It is business wise to insure your equipment in your business, guys. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you later in the next video. Thank you.